why don't you turn on the machine for me? Where is it? The green button. Nope, oh, I'll push it hard. Yep, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're going to add elastic to your neckline and to the armhole. Okay, you're not going to be in the shot at all. Okay, and how I, oh, yes, yes, you did, you showed that. Okay, so this is my trick that I always do is I always start with my elastic in there because it's one less thing to have to control. So, we're gonna go, I'm gonna start on the neck, so we're inside out. We're gonna go around the neckline. Inside out. Because we're gonna roll it over. Okay. So, hopefully I don't get anything. And we don't need to stretch this or anything because it should be just fine. Press my seam open, might as well, right? <clears throat> so when do you want to learn the, how to use this machine? Um, none times. None times? Never? Is that what you mean? Never? Never. Why not? It cuts. Oh. It cuts every, it cuts and sews all at once. So remember those threads you were telling me you wanted me to cut off? Look. It does it for me. <laughs> yep. When you're done, I'm going to check how much is in that bucket. Well, there's a lot of trash in that bucket. That's all my cuttings. Okay. It is from there. Yep, it is from there. So why do you put trash in there, too? Well, because it's right there. If I happen to have trash in my hand, I throw it in there. Okay, I'm going to overlap it right here and then run it off. Okay. But I, can, neckline. I can go super fast on mine faster than any other thing. No, you can't. Yes, I could. No. Industrial machines go a whole lot faster than you can power them. But I, I guarantee it. I can do this one faster so I can roll it faster. Uh, this one, I just have to put my foot down on the pedal. Okay. But I don't like putting my foot down on the pedal. Well, because you can't quite reach the pedal yet. Yes, I could. I well, tried before. I, I know, but it went out of control because you basically stepped on it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I actually have swim elastic I should have used, but that's okay. This should be fine. It's all nylon anyways. The other stuff probably just dries better. Plus, she's going swimming in a saltwater pool. So. I'm showing them right. Oh, okay, you're showing the bottoms? Okay, well. Uh, you know what? We're going to have to set, set up at my zigzag also. I forgot about that. I thought Why? this was it. Well, because we have to do the, the zigzag stitch to finish it. On this? Yep. On this one? Is well, no, that one's already finished. But this one, so that it matches. Okay. If I wasn't using spandex, I'd probably need to pull the elastic, but... Honey, are you... <laughs> yes, we're going to wear this swimming in probably about an hour. Right? When we are done, we'll wear it. You will wear it. I will not wear it. I did not make myself a baby. Why? Make one for you. Make huh? one. I might. <laughs> okay. That scared me. So we got the neckline and the arm hold done. Me. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew. I'm going to do this. And you know what? I'm going to do... Can you... Are you in the shot? Sit down, honey. I want to be in the shot. You want to be in the shot? So, I'm just going to... I'm going to trim off the edge. I'm just going to... Um, just do an overlock on the edge. Cover stitch, but I'm probably not going to use it. If I just zigzag the hem, since everything else is going to be zigzag. I like cutting it. Uh, I like 
like watching it cut. Okay, well it's all cut. Now all we have to do is we gotta go zigzag our neckline. There's, there's And still, then we can go swimming. There's still what? Oh, I know. We'll right clip there. those. I'll clip it. We'll clip those. Clip. I don't have thread nippers right here, okay? Okay, I'll And turn get... the power off. Turn the power off. Okay. You turn the power off though. Why is it still going? Because it takes a long time for an industrial motor to power down. Okay, it just takes a little while. But it also means that if you put your foot on the pedal, it will still run. Oh. You gotta be careful about that. Okay, I'm all ready to go do zigzag now. Flip it on for me. This one's like a light switch. Yeah, you, you get that way. So you, this says on, this says off. Push it to on. Okay. <clears throat> Mommy's gonna zigzag this, so it works well with the elastic. Okay. And that's probably okay. Okay. And I'm not using purple. It looks like I'm using gray. We're gonna use gray thread, just because that's what's here. Because <clears throat> that's not working right. Mama, can I just uh, not, when, when I tell you to, okay? Okay? You see what I'm doing? I'm going to zigzag right, folding the elastic under, and right on the <clears throat> You want to learn to use this machine? Yeah. Yeah? And the other machine. And the other one that we were just on? Yeah. Uh, you have to be able to control. So when you can learn and show me how you can control your machine by keeping stitches straight without my help, then we can move you to, this one? This well, one? we're going to move to this one after. So we're after this one, after that one, we're going to move to the machine mommy learned on, which is an electric machine, but it's not as fast. This one can be a little bit too fast. Okay. So we don't want it to be too fast for you. So the other one... The one I learned on is actually a really good one, and that's that's the machine that's over by the door. So that's that machine over there. So we'll learn that machine once you can control this one. Oh, yeah. I can go down so easy. Okay, you know what I need? Snip, 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 snip. Snip, snip. I need some snips. Okay, I'll get some snips. Thank you. Snip, snip, snip. Yep. Okay, we got the neckline done. We do the armhole. Okay, we have one more to do, and then the hem. We got the back armhole. have some blue thread on the inside. <laughs> I look. Can I have this? No. Why? Because that is that specifically fits this machine. We can't use so we don't want to mix them because every single one of these machines takes a different hardware. And so I don't want to get them mixed up. You can just put it right there. Yep. Okay. Well, you didn't. I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. So now we've got just the hem. We really don't need to do anything. Should we just leave it? Yeah. Okay. We'll just leave it. So. I guess we'll mean right now. You could, of course, take. Well, I think we're going to do a quick little intro to this before oh. it gets all wet. But I'll take make sure to take pictures of you wearing it. Okay, so what you could do is at the hem is you could take and, you know, basically zigzag it, or if you have a cover stitch, you can cover stitch it, or if you want, you just leave it plain. For her, I'm just leaving it plain. We probably could have even left it just cut, because um, it's not going to unravel or anything. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. 
If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.